Yes, that they, they met La Sa uh, USC at the end of the eliminations because they were the number one and yes. number two schools. And then they lost to USD, and that carried Absolutely. on to the finals. Absolutely. Of course, this is a. There are some new members of the team, and uh, you have to take into consideration lessons learned also from the past. We got some great rookies here from yes. the side of La Salle. That's one of them, Reyes. They go to Gumabao. Five to four is the score so far. Very jittery opening here between these two very proud teams. Caballero, Kumabao again, nobody home, and it's 6-4. to four. This seems to be a bigger La Salle crowd today yes, than we've true. seen in the last that's elimination true. round, uh, Ian. They came ready today. <laughs> they did. They were really outnumbered. They were. Again, after winning in five sets, they knew that they, have, they had to come in today to support their team. Speaking of the crowd, I have to give, as we get enough, that's a second service error. I have to give credit to this crowd. They were very loud, very noisy at the start of that UP FEU match, yeah. cheering on both schools. More that's UP, true. I guess they were going for the <laughs> underdog, really. Yeah. And a predominant USD crowd, obviously, Kanina, were trying to cheer against FEU because they, you know, they are battling FEU in the team standings. That's right. For position. Yes. All right now, Lasal has put two points together, so we're, they're in the lead, seven, serving five. That's the rookie right there. Reyes, very promising future for, for La Salle. From uh, St. Scholastica's College, yes, yes, And Doc. so far we've seen uh, a lot of great saves on the defensive end, and I think that's gonna be a huge factor for this match, especially uh, the liberos of both teams. Of course, Boeing, a more seasoned libero, against Morado, but so far from the from the time that Morado took over the Libero spot, she's been doing a good Correct. job. Yes. That was Panaticla for the kill. She had 14 points in that first matchup in the first round. Six serving seven. Reyes again. Yeah. Probably easily the tallest girl yeah. on the court right now. And Masa gets to the first technical timeout with a two-point lead. Back in a moment. here at the arena in San Juan, we call it Volleyball Central. And we are packed to the rafters for the game between LaSalle and USD. For LaSalle and USD, both their 11th game of the season. Here in the UAP season 74, they're ahead. LaSalle is eight serving six. The Bacolangan was there to prevent any entry of that ball. So point going to the Tigresses. And Banatikla was given a set that was a bit far from the net, but still, she managed to put it through. Giving the De La Salle floor defense a hard time. Kimitsuji from the USD high school program, serving. Cruz, 17 points in the last matchup. Wow. She was not the highest scorer. It was actually Maranyo, but I like how Mozi Ravenna, our colleague here and good friend, put the leadership of this girl in perspective. She said, well, we know she's not, you know, one of those more vocal mm -hmm. leaders, but she, she seems to take it easy in the first two sets to get her teammates going. This is what Mozi said. She, she makes everybody mm -hmm. make sure that they're all in the groove already, that's especially right. the rookies. And then when it matters, when she's needed, that's when she comes around. And then I look at the numbers from that last matchup against mm -hmm. UST and the breakdown of her points, sh you know, clearly showed what, what that meant. She, she only had one point, as I told you, in that third beating. I in the third set against uh, USD. USD. Two points in the first set, four points in the second set, and then four and five in that fourth and fifth set. Yung fifth set na yun, yung 15 lang yun. Oh, yun yung mabigat dun sa fifth. Ooh, service errors. Well, I, I, I guess, uh, well, for me, si, si Moji kasi talagang ano yan, eh. nababasa na yung ganyan because she's been through this. Correct, she's correct. been through a lot of championships, so... Um, she's been a senior member of her squad before, and that is a good attitude to have. If you're a senior member, you want to let your young players, mm. you know, get their touches, get into the groove, 
And when the time comes, and when it matters the most, alam mo sa iyo naman ibibigay ni Sarah, you will have your chance to show what kind of a leader you are and how experienced you are, especially if the match reaches a fifth set. Well, alam na niya, no? Mm. She knows how to get there. Service errors, boom, ha? Itong De La Salle, nakakarami na ulit. They had 25. You said... Uh, One set, give oh, it away. That's a 25 service errors, all in all, in five sets for his girls in the first matchup. And just like that, UST is back on top. 11 serving 10 with the veteran, Rhea Di Makulangan. One of the best servers we have. And just as... <laughs> sabi ko na nga ba? <laughs> and and I, I pointed this out the last time, uh, Ian. This is the year that she's not in the top 10. Usually yeah. she's number one, number two. That's true. In the not serving this year. category. Not this year. The number one server is actually from the LaSalle side, and it's a rookie, Aragalang. Even in the pre-game interview with Gumabao, she mentioned that they had to they have to improve that that main problem that they had in that game, which is their service. But so far we've seen around three or four service errors in this first set from De La Salle. Caballero squeezing nice in. Play. You know what, Boom? They had a lot of these combination attacks that scored during their previous meeting. I yes. think they're going to work on it more today. But the key to that is a good reception. So uh, they have to make sure of that first. But the same attack from the other side. The rookie, Ara Galang, able to put it away to tie it to 12. She is our best server so far here in the league. From the AUF program. Handled by Lastimosa very well. Hirotsuji is there. Galang able to dig it up. Cha Cruz goes down the line. Lastimosa. Sorry, that was Dimokulangan. And a free ball for Lasal. Esperanza goes to Reyes. Yes, and the Kulakan native. Nice play. Nice play from Reyes. Approaching for a big quick play. Blockers of USC were, were really, really late. Reyes had all day to hit that big quick. And we expect very high quality viola ball here. And another service error for LaSalle. It's really, you know, that adrenaline, <laughs> you know, going into this match. Tinga! Tinga ko lang ha. Plus the fact that... Ordinary yung laban lang naman Plus the fact that they know that the both of us are talking about each and every serve that they make. So, you know, that, that adds on doc, to it. Doc, sorry ha. Let no. me just say, wala silang pakialam sa ating dalawa. <laughs> But, 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 but they will do after they see this game on TV, the replay after they see it. Oh, they're talking about our serves. <laughs> Another and, point for La Salle, ahead, 14-13. Okay. And uh, really, it's so nice to have these girls play at this level. And yeah. you, you, you can see that the crowd is really appreciating what, uh, how much effort these girls put in each, uh, each and every game. So, very nice to watch. Marubanatikla with a lot of pace behind that attack. Wow, she's been unstoppable so far here in this set. Let's look at that. There you go, hitting Reyes on the right hand. Oh, maluwag, maluwag yung block. Reyes again, trying to find a spot. Morado with a good save. As usual, she's there again. Just as she picks herself up. She comes back down. Cha Cruz goes Ooh. cross court. And she was not on top of that ball at all, but a hit violation. Either Hirotsuji or Dimakura. Oh, it's Hirotsuji. Let's see. Oh, this was the first drop yeah. shot. And save. Please save me. Just as she, ang hindi natin nakita dyan sa replay, kakabangon pa lang niya. Ito yung violation. Tignan natin saan. Yeah, I guess both of them did touch the net. It's tough to see from that replay. Crowd reacting to the big screen here at the arena <laughs> in San Juan. <laughs> very animated, very boisterous crowd here at the arena on this Sunday afternoon. Maranyo checked, but the ball's still alive. Char Cruz with a little cut shot there. That's right, fading to the side. Chakus was not in the best position to hit that ball, but still, with a side spin on it, got that point. Back in a moment for more volleyball action.